foot. Ryan Mares, très fort oh, Ryan Mares qui envoie les siens en finale Welcome to my channel, the DZ Phoenix, where I always cover everything to do with the Algerian national team and their players. Today, I'm going to cover the news surrounding our players and Algerian national team news specifically. Bonadjeh scored today against Al Arabi. His team, as said, beat him 3-0. And now, because of this win, they're heading to the Emir Cup final, where he will be facing Brahimi in the Emir Cup final, who also scored today while taking a penalty, where his team, El Rayen, beat Dohel 2-1. But Nasser is finally back from injury. I mean, he has been playing recently, but usually it wasn't full time. And his team, AC Milan, beat Juventus 3-0. Benassa completely dominated Ronaldo when Ronaldo tried to make any attempts to pass Benassa. He just couldn't do anything with him there. And plus, he did an assist. And it goes to show how well AC Milan plays when Benassa is there. Benassa is an extremely essential player to have. And it's very good news that he's completely in shape for upcoming games for Algeria, which I'll cover later. Nimes beat Mets 3-0. Farhat scored in the 89th minute. Unfortunately, Okija and Bulea's team didn't play well. Despite Farhat's team winning, they are facing relegation, which is pretty unfortunate. Nice beat Brest 3-2, and Boudaoui scored in the 61st minute, which is excellent. He scored a couple goals recently. He's been playing well. Atal is back. He, apparently, he played well too, and, but they beat uh, Birkebla's team. Montpellier beat Strasbourg 3-2, Delors scored in the 46th minute. Delors has been on fire recently. He's just scoring all the time. This guy is a machine. I hope he comes back and plays for our, the nas our national team again because we need him. His defense team got promoted a week or two ago to the uh, Russian Premier League. And today his team, Krila, Krylia Zovetov, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Beat FC Krasnodar 6-0. The World Cup qualifications have been officially postponed for the African continent. The reason for this apparently is that not enough stadiums are ready. I feel like this is really unfortunate and I wish that CAF was more organized and countries with these problems were more organized but we have to make do with the situation and the World Cup qualifications will be moved to September, October and November and the playoffs will be in March. Inshallah will be qualified and since there's no World Cup qualifications, Algeria has three friendlies. The first game will be against Mauritania June 3rd, the second game will be June 6th against Mali and the third game will be June 11th against Tunisia. Despite Maurita Mauritania having a lower ranking in the FIFA table, we shouldn't underestimate them. When Mauritania played Morocco, last time they faced them, which was pretty recently, they did a draw 0-0. So I expect that it might be more of a difficult game, but I feel like we could beat them. Last time we went against Mauritania, we actually beat them 6-0. We actually played two games against them in 2017. The one though, where we beat them 6-0 was January 10th, 2017. And the other game was that we played against them on January 7th, 2017, where we beat them 3-1. So I feel like pretty comfortable with this game. The last time we played Mali, was June 16th, 2019 in a friendly where we beat them 3-2. And last time we went against Tunisia was March 26th, 2019, where we beat them 1-0. I'm confident that we can beat all 
all of these teams and I think Bin Mahdi wants to prepare the Algerian national team for the World Cup qualifiers because we have different levels of teams we're going to go against and Bin Mahdi knows exactly what he's doing. Maybe some people will say, oh, it's not the sides we want. Like maybe others would think, oh, how about, how about a big team like uh, Brazil or Spain or something like that. But the reality is we have to play with African teams because those African teams or African teams are the, one we're, the ones we're gonna face, not only for the World Cup qualifications, inshallah we qualify, but also for the African Cup, which will still take place in January. Anyway, that's it for my video. See you next time.